everybody, welcome back to Code 30 Things in 30 Days with CSS3. Today is day number nine, and we are gonna be building some modern layouts. Using CSS, we're going to uh, be using some media queries, and we're gonna play around to create some modern layouts. So I'm gonna show you here in my browser the final result. I'm gonna scroll down here. We have modern layout number one, just the, uh, this is basically just a structure. So we're not creating like a web page or anything per se. We're actually just almost wireframing in the browser. So you can see here, we have the header. This blue background is what um, delineates the header. Uh, down here, we have an article with body text. And over here, we have an aside. So we're using HTML5 for this. And then at the bottom, we have a footer. And so we're gonna style that to create that layout. And then obviously you can use that layout to create modern, uh, basic modern blog layout. Modern layout number two, we have a header up here again with a logo on the left side and a simple navigation on the right side. We have a left hand sidebar using an aside HTML5 tag, an article in the center, and then a right hand uh, content sidebar, and then the footer. And modern layout number three, uh, we have basically a little bit of a flipping on the header here. So we have the navigation on the left, the logo on the right, and then three articles in a three column grid, and then the footer. And so up here, we're gonna be working with that in our sandbox. We have the, I have the HTML already written for you. All you have to do is use the CSS to create those layouts. And so we're gonna do that today in this lesson, day number nine. Let's jump into our code editor. So download modern layouts in this lesson. Go ahead and do that and get yourself started. Pause the video, do what you need to do, and then open up the sandbox.css. Feel free to familiarize yourself with the code, the HTML and the final CSS. So this is the HTML. You could see here that in the sandbox, we're using uh, tag, HTML5 tags. So sections, headers, articles, asides, and footers. And we're just um, identifying each section with a class so that we know which um, section we are styling in our CSS. And there's a little bit more involved in each example in each layout example and then in the final css you can see all of the final css so if you need to go ahead and refer to that for uh, a reference or anything like that you can certainly do that jump in your sandbox.css and let's get started with the very first layout modern layout number one all right let's start it with uh, the class of layout one article so I'm selecting the class of layout one in our, in our index here. You can see each of the sections are uh, titled with a class, layout one, two, and three respectively. We're gonna start with layout one article. We're gonna give it a width of 58%, and then we're gonna float that left. Let's move down and style the layout one aside. We're going to simply give that a width of 40% and float that right. And then, we're going to go ahead and say layout one and then footer. We're gonna clear both because we want we need a clear fix for that. That's going to create an issue. It's gonna collapse. The two floats are gonna collapse that uh, on each other. So the footer is gonna create an issue. Why don't I actually just hide that for now? And let's see what we have in our browser. Let's head over to our sandbox. And you can see here the header is fine. We haven't done anything with the header. We have the article, which is the, uh, well, the article tag and it's floated at 58%. And then we have the aside at 40%, so those fit nicely, but of course, uh, the footer here is collapsed up into those elements, and that's because it needs to be cleared. It's a very common um, web design issue when you're coding with floats. So all we have to do here in our browser, sorry, in our code editor, is clear both. You can do clear left or clear right, but we're gonna clear both so that we can just get it over with. So now back in our browser, you can see that that modern layout number one is complete and it looks fantastic. That literally took seconds. Now let's move down to modern layout number two. This one is where we're gonna have the logo be on the left side, the navigation on the right. We're gonna play with the aside, the article and the aside. So we have two sidebars and content in the center. So jump back into your code editor, give yourself some space and we're going to add modern layout number two. Using our styling conventions, we're going to uh, select layout two, the class, 
and then we're going to select the header within that and then logo so pretty specific selector and we're going to say width for the logo is 20 percent we're going to float that left and then we're going to give it a margin of zero now if we go below that we're going to do another thing here and we're going to say layout to header and nav all html5 tags here trying to be as semantic as possible width 78 percent and we're going to say float right margin zero let's save that and see what happened in our browser so uh, we have the layout looking nice uh, for the logo and the navigation we're using the 20 percent and 78 percent and uh, the problem here is uh, the parent container, the header, has collapsed on itself because now it has nothing to hold it open and that's where we're going to use a clear fix. So let's jump back into our code editor and we're going to do a little bit more um, solid of a clear fix here. It's a little bit different because this is the parent container that's collapsing rather than a sibling element that uh, kind of collapses within, uh, you know, up into those, the layout that we created in our modern layout number one the parent uh, container here is collapsing on itself. So we're gonna do a little bit different of a clear fix. So I'm gonna say, and it's, uh, it's very simple and very nice. So we're gonna say layout to header. Uh, this is gonna be a virtual last child, a little pseudo element there. And then we're gonna say display is table content will be just an empty string and then we're going to clear both that's going to create an element uh, a pseudo element using the header after so at the end of the header there's like kind of a ghost element that you can create using this pseudo element here and we're going to make a display table that can't collapse the content has to be uh, an empty string for these pseudo elements because if there is no content it won't appear but if you have content and we're just going to have an empty string you could put text in here and that will show up, but we don't want that. And clear both, just to cover our bases. Let's head over and see what happened in our browser. Okay, over here, we're gonna go down to Modern Layout 2 and that solved the problem right here. So the logo, the navigation, and the header all look good because of our simple clear fix to prevent collapse. Let's move on back in our code editor. We're gonna jump down and we're going to style our article. So we're gonna say Layout 2, article i'm going to give that a width of 50 percent of the entire container parent container margin left we're going to say two percent and we're going to float that left and let's select again here the layout to a side and the class of side nav so that is the aside html5 tag with the class of side nav so that is going to be a navigation on the, probably the left hand side here Let's say width is 23% and we're gonna float that left. And then let's move down one more, layout two. And we're gonna say a side and a sidebar, which will be on the right hand side. And we're gonna say width 23% and we're gonna float that right. We're gonna save that, check it out in our browser, modern layout number two. So we have, excuse me, our left navigation bar here, our article and our sidebar. Great, the problem is our footer is collapsing up into those elements. You guessed it, we need to clear fix. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna actually just do a simple clear rather than the, the clear fix we used for the header. So let's uh, select the layout two, and then we're gonna select footer and simply say clear both. That will solve the problem over here in our browser. That looks good, modern layout number two. Beautiful. Now let's jump into modern layout number three. That one is gonna be where the logo is on the right, the navigation's on the left, three column grid for the articles, and then the footer at the bottom. So let's jump back into our code editor, and we're going to give a little comment here and say modern layout number three. And let's select layout three, header, and then logo. Width is 20%, float right, and margin zero. Layout three, 
header nav, and we're going to say width 78%, float left, and then margin zero. And now that is going to create a problem with the header being collapsed like we did before. So we can type that out again, layout number three, header pseudo element after we're going to display table. We're going to add the content as an empty string and clear both. That will solve the problem for that. So let's go back and check out modern layout number three. Our header looks perfect with our navigation and our logo. Now let's make those that three column grid with the articles. We're going to say layout three, three article. We're going to select all of them. We're going to say width 32%, float left, and margin zero, 2%, zero, zero. Now, if I save that and we view that in our browser, let's see what we have. We, it looks like we have an issue. So we have two articles here. And the other article is falling down here and it's falling behind the final result element. So there's one, two, and three. So there's a problem there. Let's jump back over. The reason what, the re what that problem is, in fact, just to tell you is there's a 2% margin on the right of each of these articles. So that means there's no space for it to fit on this right side. So if we remove that 2% margin on that last element, it will fit perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna have a comment so we know what's going on. Clear the margin of the last article to allow it to fit within the layout. Simple, layout three, article, last child. We're selecting the last child, cool CSS3 trick there. Margin zero, so instead of giving it an ID or a class and then styling that class, it's just messy, not very semantic. We're just using CSS to style that. We're not messing with the presentation or the HTML, we're just specifically using CSS fix that problem. Awesome. Now this is going to create collapse, which we've seen. So we're going to do the simple clear fix again. We're going to go layout three. We're going to select the articles element. That is the parent element of the three HTML5 articles. And the after uh, pseudo element uh, at the end of the articles div. We're going to say Display, table, content, empty string, clear both. That will solve that problem. Let's view that in our browser. All right, and here we are, modern layout number three. That layout looks awesome. We have everything lined up. The footer is being cleared, so we don't have any more problems there. That looks good. And now we could leave it as is, but it wouldn't be a modern layout if it wasn't responsive. So we're just going to do a really simple responsive fix here. So if I were to actually adjust this, you can see that the percentage maintains the layout, but the text, it doesn't really look very good. So it's not actually that nice. So the layouts will maintain regardless of the size of the window, but we don't actually want that because you have two to three words per line and that's incredibly unreadable and we don't want that. So basically all I want to do is remove all the floats and the widths and just reset that so everything stacks when you get to uh, 768 pixels, which is like a, uh, like a brand new iPhone in uh, horizontal or landscape viewport mode. So let's go over to our, our sandbox.css and we're going to leave a comment and I'm just gonna say simple media queries for responsive layouts. And then we're going to select the media at media screen. And there's, there's many ways to write media queries. This way is just a nice simple way uh, of selecting a specific one. So this is media screen and max width in parentheses. The value is 768 pixels. That means screens, not print or like a, like a re like a reading device, like a Kindle or something like that. Screens such as your computer or mobile devices. Uh, and max width, this is the most important part of the media query. The max width of the viewport being 768 pixels. And you can find that information online really easily. The viewports, the common viewports 
for, <coughs> excuse me, media queries. So I'm gonna select layout one. I'm gonna do this, uh, basically combine a whole bunch of selectors here. So article, comma, we're gonna go layout one, side, layout two, header, logo, layout two, header nav, layout two, article, layout two, side, and the class of side nav, and also class of sidebar, and then we're gonna go layout three, article, layout three, side, layout three, header, the class of, uh, something with the header with the class of logo. I'm selecting logo within header. Whoops, comma, just one more here. Layout three, header, nav. Now it's possible, I could have, what I could have done here instead of written everything out is just selected all articles, all asides, all headers, but then I'd also have to select all logos, side nav, sidebars. That would be fine too. It'd be probably, a, in fact, it would be a much cleaner selector, but I just wanted to be specific in this case. Float none, width 100%, and the margin I'm gonna reset everything to zero, 2%, uh, sorry, zero, zero, 2%, like that. Save it and then check it out in your browser. Let's see how these all stack when I make this viewport smaller. So 768 should pop up here soon. There we go, that was 768 around there. See that switch? So now all the layouts just stack and they have 2% margin on the bottom of each element. So it's just a nice, simple, responsive layout. So those are some basic modern layouts using CSS3 and media queries. That's it for today's lesson, day nine modern layouts. Hope uh, this shed some valuable insight onto, on how to use CSS3 to create some pretty straightforward layouts. A lot of these layouts are what you see in uh, common and popular web pages nowadays. And these uh, these layouts kind of concepts, you can modify them and change all the sizes and the widths and, and organize things in whatever way you want. And that's the beauty of CSS3. You're, you have the flexibility to do literally whatever you want in terms of creating layouts. So hopefully those examples were nice and simple and kind of gave you some ideas. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me today with day number nine, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 10.